Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all fine. So today's episode is not going to follow the same format as previous episodes. In fact, today I want to share something with you which happened to me over the weekend with respect to my Redbubble shop. And I'm hopeful that through this episode, the issue that happened with my Redbubble shop won't happen with you, but if it does, you'll know exactly what to do in order to take care of it. So stay tuned. So you're probably wondering, hey Brian, what happened to you then? What's the big deal? What's, what was so cataclysmic that happened to your Red Bubble shop over the weekend? Well, basically, the, in a nutshell, I was going through my shop on my cell phone and scrolling through it and clicking on a few designs just to get a feel of how things are looking when a customer is looking at my shop on a mobile device. And I clicked on one particular design, one recent design actually, pertaining to the gaming uh, niche. And as I was scrolling up, as you will probably know, Redbubble gives suggestions for other designs from other sellers. And I have no problems with that. After all, we're all here to try and make an extra buck. And, you know, if somebody doesn't like my design, but perhaps like somebody else's, hey, all the power to that customer. We're here to learn. We're here to grow. The problem is, is that I found a carbon copy of my design in another seller shop. So basically... This shop owner found my design, copied it pixel for pixel, and actually uploaded it as if it were his or her design. Well, needless to say, I was extremely frustrated, stressed, tense, and I was thinking to myself that, you know, if I was able to get my hands on this person, I'd probably do this. But then I thought, hmm, or maybe I would do this. Get that letter. Which one? That one. Ah, ah, oh, oh, oh. But then I thought, well, you know, I'm not a very violent person, so maybe I would just do this. Needless to say, joking aside, I did not do any of those. I do not even know who this particular seller is, and I think it's a good thing. But nevertheless, I wanted to make sure that I took care of the situation as quickly and feasibly as I could in order to ensure that, hey, the amount of time that I put into creating the design, researching the design, coming up with appropriate keywords for that design, that customers, when visiting Redbubble, would actually see my design from the person who created it. Hey, me, after all. And not from some Tom, Dick, or Harry out there in some remote part of the world or what have you, physically stealing my design and putting it up and trying to sell it as their own. So I went on to Redbubble and I actually found a way to contact support and I'm actually going to show you how you can do this so that in the unlikely event you are ever in the same position that I was you know exactly what to do you don't need to get stressed out you don't need to get tense you don't even need to get angry well maybe a little bit angry but hey don't let it overcome you you're always going to find these kinds of people out there but at least you know what you need to do in order to solve the situation so let's hop over to my computer so that I can show you exactly what you need to do should you ever find yourself in a position where one of your designs is stolen by somebody else. Hi, okay, so welcome to my screen here. And what I've done for you is I've actually taken a screenshot of the help section on Redbubble, which effectively explains what one needs to do in order to report a stolen design, a copyright infringed design. So basically, what you want to take a look at here is this section over here, which says report an artwork or design. To report a work, scroll to the bottom of a page where you will see a link titled inappropriate content. After clicking this link, you will be able to select the reason for reporting the work and leave a comment if necessary. If you believe someone is infringing your rights, which was the case in my respect, please use the notice and takedown report form to submit your report. So. Basically, what I did now was I took a screenshot of the bottom of the infringed listing. So we are looking at the bottom page of the person who stole my design. And as you can see here, you've got report content and copyright infringement. So by clicking on copyright infringement, you'll then be taken to the next page here. And as you scroll down here, you can see that there's a clickable link in red called the notice and takedown report form. 
So once you click on that, that's going to take you to this page here. And basically, this is where you go through and fill in all of the details that Redbubble is asking of you. Make sure that you don't leave anything out, because after all, you've got nothing to hide. You're being sincere about this. If this is your design that was stolen, you want to make sure that you give Redbubble all the information that they request in order to be able to help you in taking down the stolen design. So basically, it's very, very simple. You're just putting in your full name, your right holder's name, rights holder's name, which is effectively your own name, unless you were creating it for somebody else, in which case you put their name down here. Um, the Redbubble username, be it yours or whoever it is that you are working on behalf for. Your email address, which is definitely a must so that they can contact you back with a decision as to what they're going to do from the report onwards. And then you also want to include your physical address. Now, your physical address needs to be the same one that you actually utilize when you register for your Redbubble account. And then you just have a few more things to do. So here's the details of your artwork. So what you want to do, this is really important now, is you want to go to the listing where your design was stolen and actually physically copy the URL and paste it over here so that when they receive the report, they will be able to click on it automatically and go to it so that they can see and obviously make a judgment based on your case. Then in the following field, you want to include a short description of the intellectual property that you believe in good faith has been infringed. So here's where you want to go in and actually tell them, listen, you know, I created a design I did the research for it. I created the layers in Photoshop, Photopea, or whatever imaging, editing, processing uh, software package that you utilize to create the design. And if you can also give an, a, a rough estimate in terms of when you had created design to let them know, that way they can go into their own database and try to trace back when your design was obviously uploaded. Clearly, if you've uploaded it before the other person who stole it, then obviously they're going to clearly see that you are in fact the copyright owner of that design. And then the other thing that you could do is you can actually attach a copy of the file that you used to create the design yourself. That way they will actually see that you are in fact the copyright holder that you put in the work in order to create it. That person is not going to have a layered PSD file um, similar to yours because obviously all he or she did was take a screenshot and then plop it onto any software editing program or maybe like Canva or what have you and they're not going to have the layers so it'll be a very difficult for them to be able to contest your contestation of their you know, thievery. Okay, and then if there's any other additional information that you want to include, you can do so there. And then finally, the last thing you want to do is you want to make sure you put a check mark in these two boxes, which effectively says to Redbubble that you have in good faith believe that the listing identified in this takedown notice infringed my rights or the rights of someone I legally represent. And under penalty of perjury, I own the rights claimed to have been infringed or I am legally authorized to act on their behalf. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is click on submit in order to send it to them. And obviously Redbubble will get back to you uh, in a short duration of time in order to tell you how they're going to proceed. Moreover than not, Redbubble will see the validity of your takedown request and obviously side in your favor. Now, in the best interest of all of you, I am actually sharing the name of the shop that actually stole my design. As you can see, it's a new shop, and I wonder just how valid this particular shop owner really is because we only have two designs, and of the two designs, one of them happened to have been mine. So I'm actually naming and shaming this particular shop owner because what this person did was not right. Um, it's ethically incorrect, and these things should not be happening. But because of the fact that this person did, and I want to make sure that all of you are protected, I think it's very important that if you ever see this shop name, that you should definitely take a look to make sure that this person hasn't in fact gone into your own shop and stolen one of your designs too as well. So there you have it everybody. You know, it's not something that I enjoy doing in terms of naming and shaming, but you know, and I think many of you will agree with me, that people who go out and actually steal other people's designs obviously shouldn't be treated with kids gloves. I'm certain that without a shadow of a doubt, you spend a lot of time researching coming up with your designs in the hopes of providing your customers with quality designs that they could go out and consider buying. 
And the fact that people like this come out and basically try to steal designs from other people and just basically copy it and put it onto their shop as if it were their own designs, well, that gets under my skin. And I'm certain that it probably gets under your skin too. But hey, there are ways of going about dealing with people like this. I have explained to you exactly what you need to do in order to contact the powers that be at Redbubble and I have no doubt that if this happens to you on any of the other print-on-demand platforms, you can find the same steps or something similar to be able to contact their administration to help you resolve this problem, to take down the design from the thief's shop and hopefully ban and close their accounts so that we can actually find ourselves in a marketplace environment which is positive which is something that can actually promote and enhance and give a little bit more of an enjoyable experience to us as the sellers to be able to provide to their customers quality designs and enjoy in the process too as well. So I certainly hope that you enjoyed this video. Not the best of circumstances, but hey, that's part of life. You take the good with the bad and the bad with the good. But for today, that's all I've got. And as always, be safe, be well. Be creative. Bye for now.